Okay everybody, today we're gonna talk about English language and I'm Mr. Go and we're gonna discuss about subject verb agreement. This is one problem that quite a number of students actually face. Let's find out now. So the first, why do we learn subject verb agreement? But before we start that, we'd like to find out about this very popular artist. His name is none other than I can tell you who is he? Uh, if you can guess it, basically he's Kanye West, a very famous rap singer. So in this case, Kanye West is actually a singer. When he started off, well, he became a producer. So this is what he said. When I was starting off in Chicago, I wanted to be considered the best Chicago producer. Then, when I was the best Chicago producer, I wanted to get to that Jermaine Dupree level. Now I got into that level, but there's always other frontiers, you know, the Quincy Jones level. So in this case, what's wrong? Let's find out. So in this case, if you look carefully, there's is actually to the there are, not there's. So if you look carefully, there's actually means there is. When in fact, it should be there are because of frontiers, but frontiers is plural. So let's take about outline where we have singularity followed by plurality and last but not least we have tricky business. Singularity. Singularity, every time we look at a word, we have the word each, everybody, anybody, somebody, nobody, anyone, everyone, someone. And you look carefully, there's this word body and one. One is singular, body is singular, what is somebody's, which nobody use, so it's still singular. That's one way to learn about singularity. Quick tip, look for the one and body. So, when we talk about one amount or n amount, we are talking about singularity. So, for example, 10 liters of coke, which is supposed to be plural in one amount, or we're talking about one amount, is sufficient for the class party. Next. Quantity. A thousand bucks is needed for the expenses above this cruise ship. So, in this case, a thousand bucks is a quantity. Well, it's a quantity of the money. So, last but not least, this is called the blue marble or of as we know it. So if you talk about the distance, if you're talking about one quantity of distance, which is 6,374 kilometers, is the average radius of Mother Earth. We are talking about one distance and that will be singular. So let's take a look. We have other words which is closely related items like fish and chips, time and time, stars and stripes. Since all these closely related items, even though there's a as there, there's two items there, actually they're considered as one singular object. Well, so we use is. How about names, titles, books, films, songs, countries, places? If they are considered as singular, then basically we have to use singularity. So, I hope you know why this is. This is sigh. And Gundam Style is one of the many songs that he have created and that will be singular. <laughs> okay, so if we use one of one of the culprits while well, you just one while well, we use the word is, is telling the truth. If there are more than one person, aha. Uh -huh. Even though the logically you'll be more than one person, there will be more than one, so it should be plural, but no. We follow the one person instead. So more than one person is going for the party. The number, we're talking about one number, which is the number, the specific number, the number of people falling sick is incredible. We use singular for that. What is this? If you don't know, it's not the D. You still can figure it out. It is called Jewels. And even though it has a hat S at the back, same for games, illnesses, and subjects such as billets, drops, missiles, physics. All these have a letter S at the back, but it's considered as singular. So even though there's one S in the back, we don't really consider it as plural. Plurality, that's one of my favorite. So one of those, so if you think about it, one of those is supposed to be of plural, but if you look at the sentence structure here, yes, it's still one, so it is one of those who love to go on a shopping spree. So in this case, the those, when we have used love, is actually using those, so which is a plural. So, Ilang is one of those girls who adore. Ilang is, but those girls, we use the plural verb, which is adore. Yes, Lady Gaga. So, either or, or neither nor, we use 
which so we have either Chinyang or I or neither Ifa nor I. But we use. I give you a clue. If you look at this picture, it's a racing horse, and what does it got to do with my clue? It has absolutely something to do with the clue. Here comes the arrow. If you look at the position, where is it located? It's the last one. So if you look at the last noun or in this case pronoun, which is I, then in this case we need to use the last one, which is I. So either Chin Yang or I am going to continue the lesson. Neither Ifa nor I am going to take music for an O-level subject. In this case, we use I, which is basically the pronoun or the noun that is the closest to the verb. But even though it's grammatically correct, I find it kind of hard to express it this way because it's kind of confusing. So neither Ifa nor I am taking music as an O-level subject. It's actually grammatically correct, but it's very, very awkward. So in this case, this is actually better. Both if I and I are not taking music as only of a subject, and this will help you express your idea more clearly. So in this case, let's look at explanation. You have Chin Yang and person we use is your I we use M when present tense. Which moves on to my third section, which is called tricky business. Tricky business. We look at singular and we look at plural. None of the furniture is destroyed in the fire we use using none because yeah, we consider it singular in this case. None of the girls, you look at the word girls, is plural. So girls, you like side gun stuff. So in this case, girls is plural. So, ta-da, gun style. Let's move on. So does the following items add to number? We take a look at three examples. With, as well as, and together with. So let's look at a sentence. Yes, the answer is no. Oops, give it away. If you look at this, the Prime Minister as well as his aides attends the National Day Parade. You see the comma as well as his aides is actually quite redundant and doesn't add to the number. So in fact, we usually use that to uh, refer to Prime Minister which is singular. So let's take a look. For collective nouns such as all, half, a lot of, it can be both singular and plural. Isn't that fantastic? So. Later, we'll take a look. Collective nouns. We have army, staff, audience, band, class, committee, family, public. And both, this word can be considered both singular and plural. Wait a minute. You mean I can use both of them? Yes, you can. But you actually have to depend on the sentence. Actually, depend on your intention. So, if you take a look, which I mentioned just now, all is lost and all are welcome are both acceptable. Yes. When you talk about all is lost, we are talking about this. the situation is lost. While one situation is singular. When you say all are welcome, we say all humans, or basically pets, are uh, welcome. In this case, we are talking about all the humans and the pets. So they are considered plural. So it depends on the intended meaning, which we have to examine the sentence in detail. So what happens if there are more than one noun? So we have to link the verb to the main noun. It can be tricky. So if the lecture on beauty, grooming, and social etiquette is utterly boring. So if you look at the green color font, which is lecture and is, even though we have a uh, beauty, grooming, and social etiquette, which is three items, we're actually focusing on lecture itself. So it's singular. That's right. So what about if the subject is at the end of sentence, which is highly possible, not your usual style, but totally possible. So we have to actually follow it. What do you mean? From the depths surface, a dreadful sea monster. So in this case, you can see that surface actually follows after monster, which is behind it. Usually subject is in front, or the main noun is in front. But in this case, it's actually behind, because from the depths, which is not the location but not the subject so we have to follow the monster which is singular so surface not depths beware of the two hidden monster what do you mean oh did that scare you if it doesn't good job so which means that it will be both singular and plural let's look at a sentence justin's sole support is his mother and father when you talk about support is singular when we look at the other sentence, Justin, mother and father are his sole support. We're talking about mother and father, which is two objects we have to use 
plural. So you look at one sentence which can be expressed in two different ways, and when you express in two different ways, the subject change, and you have to use the appropriate both singularity or plurality to express what you mean. So there you go. Ta-da! And then we'll conclude my explanation for subject-verb agreement. Thank you for your time and I hope to see you again and have an awesome day.